Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this screencast, we're gonna take a look at some more strategies for providing feedback. Um, but in this case, we're gonna take a look at specifically Google Forms. There is a way by which you can provide specific feedback on each question in a Google Form to a student. And so I'm just gonna walk you through how we do that. Um, my name is Nikki Woodford. I am the coordinator of instructional and assistive technology in Sturgeon Public Schools. Um, you can find me on Twitter. You can also reach me by email. I will respond to both. And it really is just such a privilege to come alongside colleagues and problem solve together as we think through all these new things with ed tech. Um, so nonetheless, I can be reached pretty quickly. Um, just for reference, we are going to use Google Classroom as our launchpad, and so you will see me working out of Google Classroom. If you're not quite sure um, how Google Classroom works, please feel free. There's another video on, on that gives an overview of Google Classroom, how to create assignments, how to set it up, and so on and so forth. But um, for the sake of this particular screencast, just know that that's the that place that I'm going to use as a launch pad. Um, and, and then really the rest of the time we'll spend a little bit of time in classroom, but then the rest of the time we're going to spend in a Google form. And so those are really the only two applications that we're going to be using. Um, but I, in this case, I'm going to actually pop out of the slides that I have here and I'm going to pop into my Google class. Um, I have two classes set up. I've got a teacher view of this class and then I have the student view of this class. Um, I'm going to move this down so you can actually see, but I'm going to try and make sure that I um, show you or at least identify which view we're looking at. But I always find it helpful to see both so that you can see what it looks like from the teacher side and then you can also see what it looks like from the student. So I'll be flipping back and forth. All right. So from the teacher view, you can see that I have created a Google form. If I open it up, Now, this is what it would look like to a student, but I'm gonna go on to the edit side so I can see what it looks like um, when I was creating it. Now, there is another video that again, you can take a look at to guide you through how to create a Google form. So I am not gonna provide that here, um, but just know that the settings that I have used in order to set up the possibility of that feedback exchange um, just know that under settings, I have set this up as a quiz. And so that means I'm assigning point values and I am allowing auto grading. Okay. Yes. Google Forms auto grades. It'll do it all for you. Um, and the other thing that I have I've selected is that I will release the grade after I have manually reviewed it. Just as a note. And then I've chosen what they can see or not see. But those are the key pieces. And then collect email addresses, I always do that because then I don't have to put a field for the name. Um, I wanna limit their response to one so they can't take it again um, in this case. And of course, just people in our domain, okay? So those are the things. You will notice in my form, I've got a couple of different questions. One is an upload your work here. Yeah, Google Forms can do that. So you can actually ask students to submit files. Um, and if you want, you can identify the type of files that can, can be put in. So I can select which types. In this case, I won't. But um, I'm thinking that in, in this circumstance, because I may have had kiddos do work by hand, it's math. We're in, you can't always use technology to replace that pen and pencil or the pen and paper tasks. And so in this case, I'd just be like, scan and upload um, evidence of the work that you've done, but then just put in the actual answer for question one, question two, question three, question four. Okay. Um, the other thing is that I have identified there for each of the questions, there's an answer key. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take a look here. So for question one, here's my, I clicked on answer key and here's the correct answer. Anything other than this is marked incorrect. It is worth one point. So I have done that for each of these questions. Okay, I have identified the correct answer. I have identified that it is one point. 
Um, and so that is the way my form is set up. All right. Now I'm going to go out of it. I have already assigned it. And now I'm going to go to the student view. So I'm a student. I'm going to open up this assignment. I'm going to click on the form. And I'm going to go ahead and complete it. So I'm going to add my file. I'll go my drive and I'll say, here it is. Here's my work. Okay, and I'm going to say, answer one, answer two, answer three, and answer four. And click submit. And done. So it says that the response is submitted and the assignment is marked as done. And so if I go back here, I'm just going to do a quick refresh. I can see, let's move that up there. I can see that it it is been turned in, right? Like there's my indicator. It's turned in. I could click on add submit, but I can't do it again. Okay, because it is I indicated as the teacher that I only want it done once. Okay. Now I'm going to flip back to the teacher side. And I can see it's been turned in. And so let's view it. Google Forms, the view is a little bit different. I mean, I can see that it's been turned in, but there's nothing really for me to click on because all the answers and all the data is inside the form itself. So I'm going to go here. Again, I'm going to click on this little edit pencil because I want to get to the back side of it. I want to get to the edit side of it. And all the responses, I'm just waiting for it to load. All the responses are here. And I can see that I have three responses to this form. So I'm going to go into responses and I'm going to take a look at in individual. So I've got a summary of all. I can go question by question or I can go individual by individual. In this case, I'm going to go individual by individual. Okay, so here's the one that I just submitted. It collected my email address so I know exactly who it is. Okay. I can see that my raw score is three out of five. The score has not been released. And then there's a button to release the score. Okay. okay. So um, I did upload my work. I can, and I'm going to add individual feedback right here. I could say, um, you. All right, so here's my individual feedback. Notice I can edit it, I can garbage it, but it's there. I could add individual feedback, but this one's been marked correct. Correct. Here's an incorrect answer. I might add some individual feedback here. So this one would be back over back. Step to right. Not. And, uh, and then click save. Now you'll notice that there is a place to actually add under the individual feed or the in the individual feedback, there is a place to add a link and a video. So if I ever wanted to, I could add for the student a video like watch this and this might help you. Go to this link, this might help you. And so I can always add those pieces if I wanted to. And just for reference, sure, I'll go. go over. This might help for answering this particular question. Here we go. Done. Okay, and click save. Okay, so there's the individual feedback. Now, once I'm done, you'll see that it says edits are pending, and I'm going to click save. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click release score. In this case, I'm going to um in i can choose all respondents or just one but yes and then send the emails and release and so the student is going to get an email now i'm going to go back to the student site i'm going to just refresh my screen now i'm going to go back here um now 
just for ease, it says that there is an email that would have been sent. So I might direct, um, because again, I can't, there's nothing for me to go into here from the assignment, but I could enter it from Gmail, but I left this tab open um, because I'm just going to open, no, I don't want to open the assignment because that's just going to open it back here in Classroom. So I do actually need to go to Gmail. So I'm going to go to Gmail. I'm going to find the email that I would have just re received. So there's a score release. And now I'm going to click view. And so now I can go back in and I can see the individual feedback that I would have gotten on this particular form. And there's even the video. Okay. So that is Individ that is feedback in Google Forms. So even if you wanted to give a, a quiz, a test, um, there is still a way that you can respond to students, just like you would have on something, um, a more traditional assessment in a classroom. There is still a way that you can provide that, that exchange, that interaction with, with your student, um, even in the form itself. If you have any questions, by all means, um, give me a shout. Um, but this should help get you started in creating um, a form where, where you can continue that conversation for success. In the meantime, um, I hope you have a great one. This has just been another um, chance for us to learn together. And I'm signing off until next time. Take care.